So um, uh, uh, Rajuji has already laid out the central agendas that the Congress has, and all of us were involved in the manifesto of the Congress, which uh, in recent times has been misinterpreted by the BJP, saying, oh, you also favored dismantling of some of these uh, systems. The basic point is that whatever changes that we have proposed are holistic. You can't just do, uh, uh, you know, dismantle one aspect and then expect that everything else um, will fall into place. And um, one of the key learnings that we've seen from the last few months uh, has been that this, it, there was a reason why this was a state subject, because the complexities of agriculture um, are very regional and they required not a one size fits all solution, but uh, tailored solutions in different niches. Now, the, uh, the agitation is spearheaded by the uh, early green revolution states, partly because they are the ones who can very, very clearly see that this is going to dismantle everything that has allowed them to, uh, to basically run agriculture in a reasonably successful manner. But in the rest of the country, there are numerous uh, problems and there are numerous unanticipated consequences of these changes. For example, uh, this whole notion of if you um, open up markets in the, uh, with the idea that you're actually going to prevent exploitation by middlemen, what is the alternative that you're providing? Are you providing organizational support to farmers through farmer producer organizations or uh, cooperatives or anything like that, which will actually strengthen their hand and bargaining power? What happens you know, if you do not do that and you do a piecemeal um, uh, change of this sort? What you are seeing is um, a government hurtling towards these kinds of um, signaling-oriented uh, laws, but which also have a deeper uh, reorganization of the economy in favor of what looks like uh, the favorite industrialists of the present government, right? And um, uh, you know, and, and therefore, it's actually. Um, uh, this requires all the arguments that even they are uh, submitting to the Supreme Court, saying this has been studied for 10, 15 years. This has been studied by different commissions, but has not been studied adequately. And we absolutely <laughs> need additional studies and scenario um, uh, uh, planning and exploration to understand what would happen in each of these contexts. And that's why it's absolutely imperative that we not just have a, a, a special detailed session of parliament. What we had proposed in the Congress manifesto, we actually need a separate Kisan budget. We actually need commissions on agricultural, um, uh, uh, on agricultural issues, which revisit these issues in the, in the context of the changing market dynamics that have emerged. But otherwise, what Rajuji pointed out, the crucial need for investment, investment in um, uh, the entire chain and infrastructure, all of those, I, I mean, I absolutely support. And, um, uh, you know, I'm not in parliament anymore, but I was appalled to see how it was uh, rushed through. This has been the pattern of this government. Either they will try and ambush the opposition by bringing in, um, uh, you know, laws um, without any adequate notice for us to prepare. I also head the Congress Research Department. It's my job to actually ensure that my colleagues are well prepared. And when you suddenly, uh, you know, announce it with five minutes notice that this is what you're pushing through, like they did with um, uh, Jammu and Kashmir, um, we are really uh, faced with a, with a challenge on how to do these things. The process that was followed was a sham, and I we uh, uh, joined Rajuji in fully supporting the resolution uh, demands that we need a special session, we need to repeal these laws, we need to revisit this issue in much more detail. Uh, thanks. Uh, 